Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing five first impressions of all drugstore products. These are products I haven't tried before, so if you're interested in that, keep watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's get into it. I completely forgot to film an intro earlier today when I filmed this video, so I'm sitting back down to film the intro for this. It's been like seven hours or something ridiculous but i'm going to go through five products i will link all of them down below i went to target yesterday and i was just going through the makeup section there were so many products i haven't tried so today i'm going to be trying out the new classics pla palette from elf i'm going to try out the maybelline fit me matte and poreless the elf monochromatic multi-stick the nyx candy slick and then the elf flawless finish foundation I know that this and this are not new, but I've never seen the e.l.f. multi-stick, I haven't seen the NYX candy slick, and I haven't seen this palette from e.l.f. So, we're gonna hop in, I'm gonna show you everything, apply it to my face, and then let you guys know my thoughts at the end of the video, so let's get into me doing my makeup. All right, I already prepped my skin, so I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. foundation. I got it in the shade Sand, and it is a mess. Okay, there is foundation all over this. I haven't opened it up yet, and it was actually sealed, so it had never been opened. Well, that is not great. Um, let me clean this up. I'll be right back. Okay, that was a total mess. Anyway, this does have a pump on it. I believe Jessica Braun is the one that really likes this. I think she's the one that, that I follow that I saw reviews about this for, so... Okay, so this is what it looks like. It is a little bit darker than my neck, but we're just gonna roll with it. So I'm going to go in now with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. This is the Matte and Poreless, and I have it in the shade 220 Natural Beige. I've heard so many good things about this powder, so I'm really excited to try it out. Okay, I feel like it sat on top of that foundation really nicely it did mattify my face really well so so far we'll see how the rest of my makeup sits on top of it okay what i'm going to use for blush i forgot that i was using this so now i kind of wish i hadn't set my face already but this is from elf this is the monochromatic multi-stick in the shade glistening peach this came in like four shades i think so this is what it looks like this actually looks like the flesh um, foundation stick packaging. So let's just see. Okay, this is the color. I mean, it looks like it blends out really beautifully. So I'm just going to tap this onto the apples of my cheeks. And then blend it out with my sponge. Okay, this is pretty, but I kind of wish it was more peachy. It's pretty pink, but I do think you have to use it. It wasn't going on as much if I was dabbing it. I kind of had to swipe it to get the pigmentation onto my cheeks, but I think it's really pretty. It has like a luminous finish, which I don't mind. It's not glittery at all. It's just more luminous. I'll see if you guys can see that on my hand. Okay, I'm gonna finish up my face makeup and then I will be right back for the next product. All right, my face makeup is done, so I'm going to move on to my eyes. This is from e.l.f. It is called The New Classics, and it has 18 colors in it. Let me take the plastic off. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I think this palette is so gorgeous, and I don't think I've ever tried any e.l.f. shadows. I'm not 100% sure, but I don't think I have. So I'm going to speed through this and just point to the shadows that I'm using because I don't know what look I want to do yet, and I'm sure it would be way longer if I was like talking the whole time. So let's speed this up, and I will show you guys what I use on my eyes.
Okay, I didn't use a ton of them. I do need to do my mascara and stuff. Um, this shade Muse, this like eggplant purpley shade, has a ton of fallout. I'm actually going to swatch everything because obviously I didn't use a ton of the shades in here. So I'll swatch everything and kind of share thoughts afterwards. So I'm going to do my mascara and then I'll be right back. All right, I just finished up my mascara. So the last product is this one from NYX. This is the Candy Slick. It is a glowy lip color. So it has that terrible drugstore packaging that is always so hard to open. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just opened that so easily. Okay, this is in the shade Sugar Coated Kiss. Okay, this is much like more baby pink than I was expecting it to be. Um, it does smell very sweet and it's pretty pigmented it's very slippery on my lips it almost feels like a gloss all right so this is the finished makeup look i'm gonna go through the products and just kind of share my final thoughts about them so first up is the elf flawless finish foundation this retails for six dollars i got it in the shade sand i'm impressed with the packaging the fact that it's in a gr glass Frosted bottle with a pump is really nice. The shade range is not so great. I also noticed that this comes with 0.68 ounces, which is smaller than most foundations. Most foundations come with one ounce. And then the other thing is that on the bottom, it says that this is only good for six months, which is not a very long time. So my Milani foundation is 12 months. This NARS foundation is 24 months. This NYX foundation is 24 months. This ColourPop foundation is 12 months. So I don't think I have another one that is six months. So that's kind of weird. But overall, I did like it. I think that my makeup sat on top of it very, very nicely. I think I could build it up without getting cakey. It's definitely a great option if you can find a shade that works for you. But um, just be aware that you can get a foundation. This is $6. The Milani one is like 11 or 12 and it will last longer in your collection if you're not going to go through it that quickly and you do get more product. So just something to keep in mind. Next up was the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in 220 Natural Beige. I believe that this one was $5.99. It's hard to tell because they just put these in categories and don't really say what they are on my receipt. But anyway, I did really like this. I think that this kind of like mattified but also perfected my skin while it was doing that. It does have a little sponge that it comes with, which I did not use that. And it does have a mirror in here, which is nice. So you could definitely take this on the go if you wanted to keep yourself matte throughout the day. This is definitely something that I could see myself throwing in my bag. So overall, I really like this. The price is great. Again, they don't have a ton of shades, but it's a powder, so you don't necessarily need them. I would definitely recommend checking this out. The next product is the e.l.f. Monochromatic Multi-Stick. This was $4, and again, I got it in Glistening Peach. Um, I feel like it's a little bit too pink for me, so I don't like the shade that much. I think I'll probably go back and get a different color. Um, it doesn't look like there's that much product in here, but... I think that it would still last you a while just because you use so little of it on your face when you apply it. So I still think that this is worth it for $4. It blended out really nicely, which is, and I even had already set my face. So that's something really good. Um, but again, this color I think was just like a little bit too light for me. Next up is the eyeshadow palette. This retails for $14. Um, Okay, it comes with quite a lot of colors. I swatched all of them so that you guys could kind of see all of them. Quite a few of the colors have a lot of fallout, which I don't necessarily mind. Like the color that I used on the outer V, the Muse color, has a ton of fallout, but it's really dark and it is so pigmented. So although this is more expensive for an e.l.f. product, I still recommend it. It's $14. You get 18 different shadows, and I like that the cover is clear because it's obviously not going to have a mirror at this price point, but I like that it's clear so that you can see all of the shadows in there before you pick it up out of your collection. I think this would be great for somebody who's new to makeup, somebody who doesn't have an eyeshadow palette, or you do want one, but you want something every day that's still versatile because I do like that this has some darker shades you can use as eyeliners. It also has the light colors to set down your um, eyelid. If you have primer or concealer on, it has some 
uh, transition shades. It's got some doubt, dark outer V shades. I cannot talk at all. Uh, it's got some shimmer shades and inner corner highlight shade. It has a bit of everything. So I think that all together, this is a really well put together palette. And I think the price point is reflective of that. Last but not least is from NYX. This was $6.49. It's the Candy Slick Glowy Lip Color. And again, I have it in the shade Sugar Coated Kiss. I don't know if I'm going insane or not, but this looks lighter than it did when I put it on originally. I'm just going to put a little bit more on and see if I really am crazy or not. Okay, yeah. Can you guys see that? Like, that is so much lighter. I don't know why it, like, melted into a darker color. I have no idea. I'm fine with the color getting a little bit darker because it was really light, but it's a little bit confusing when you put it on and then it transforms and just gets darker out of nowhere. So that is that. I do like it. I guess I'm just like a little bit confused about this. I don't think I'd buy this in a darker shade because it's glossy and it's really slippery. So I wouldn't want it to like get all over my face if I had a darker color and it was getting out of the lines. So this I think I'd probably pass on. I really like their butter gloss. And so if I wanted like a glossy gloss, I would use that. And if I wanted something to stay in place, I would rather use a regular lipstick or a liquid lipstick, even though I don't really use those. But I guess I'm just like a little confused about what exactly this is. Alrighty guys, that is everything for this video. My five first impressions. Let me know down below what you thought. Have you tried any of these products? Are you going to try them? Let me know all the things down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.